Hi everybody, Mark the Flicking Feathers again today. Doing a cracking still water dry for you. This is uh, Murdoch's Humpy. Uh, it's a popular pattern in the west of Scotland. Among, well, among certain groups. Folk that know. Um, it's, it's basically a tom thumb, right? Uh, but we never knew about Tom Thumbs when Jordan was tying these. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, a very good sedge pattern. Great for the summer sedges. As always, we'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone to support the channel and be eligible for the fly giveaways and get access to the members only content. Right, I've got my hook, my vice. Now, this is a heavy wet fly, it's a Kamazan B175, right? Size 10. You could use the full of milk competition heavyweight if you want. Um, you want the heavy hook, right? There's a lot of buoyancy in this fly, and the heavy hook makes it sit better. So I've got my. I've run on some 6 hot thread, right? You can tie them way up, but there's a good chance you'll break the thread. And I've parked my. Apart from my thread, I'll just bring it actually a wee bit further forward. So, sort of about the third, one third back for the eye. Right? And this is going to allow me to have my body tied in two parts. Right? So, I'm going to get a big bunch of roe deer hair with dark tips. Right? You want, like this, right? The roe deer, nice dark tips on it. Probably the first few of these you tie, you might end up not having enough hair on them. Um, you know, forget sparse and delicate, right? It's a big chunky fly for the murrochs. The murrochs are a fly that we've got, you get them in Scotland and Ireland, Northern England. Uh, I think they fetch in Scandinavia as well. It's a very big caddis. They're all, some of them are like an inch and a half long, right? And they, you get them in the locks in the summer evenings. So, I'm going to measure this. You can see there how thick the bunch is, right? I'm going to measure this uh, here. And that's what I want off the back there, right? They're about nearly a hook length. Move it into position. And you can allow the, the the butts to come down if you want. Right, and I'm going to tie back. Don't worry if you trap any stray bits of butt or anything, it doesn't matter. Just got to get that locked in. Got to take a couple of wraps under. And maybe another one or two on top just to lock it. Right. Don't worry, as I say, don't worry if it looks a bit messy. This fly is messy, right? It's an ugly fly. Um actually I remember there was a day we showed this to Davy McPhail, well George showed him it. And Davy just looked at it and went, Oh that's that's a pile of mints. Um I mean he was kinda of joking because Joe did caught about twelve fish on it that day, but uh, it is ugly, you know, it's 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 an ugly, rough looking fly, but it looks very good when it's hanging out of trout's mouth. Right, so there's the first bunch. Right, and I've tied in that and I've run my thread through that deer and it's all straggly and all that, that's fine. I've got a nice tail there, and it's sitting up just the way I like it. You can, if you if you want, you can even tighten your wraps in to flare it a bit more, which is nice. Right. 
And then I'm going to take another big bunch. Same size. And I'm going to measure it, if, if you flatten the tail a wee bit, and you go like that, and you measure so you've got basically the length of the shank plus the tail length at the back. And then, just the same, tie that on, allow your butts to sort of spin a wee bit. Right, nice and tight, then bring your thread through, and you end up with something that looks like this. Right, again, messy, don't worry. Trim that, I'm going to turn it over just because it's easier. Trim this underneath. That's still that's one is still what it's spin on me. So I'm just got to force that down a wee bit and then we'll just take the thread back in and then and that will solidify everything. Just because the thread's been wrapped onto the, the, the shank again and it's grippy, that last few tight wraps here, it sort of anchors everything in place. So just do that, right? Just grab it, sweep up, and the short tail fibers will come free. If you go too far, you'll start losing some of your front wing. Just sweep them forward, and you just make your hump, pinch it, two or three wraps, and put it tight. Lift, batter some thread on the front, make a wee dam, and there is your humpy. Right, if you've got a wee, I've got a couple of wee, no, you can leave it right, but I've got a couple of sort of loose fibres here, I'm just going to take them out. That's just for my sort of personal aesthetic taste, it doesn't make matter to the fish. Just to secure it, I'm just taking two or three wraps through the the wing here. Come in front of it again. There we go. Then you can whip finish. Now, it doesn't look much, as I say, but when those big Sedges are hatching in the summer. And a wee rip. This is great. You know the 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 way the wings stick up. The cat it catches the wind and the fly sort of. It's got it drifts amazingly. It's got a lovely movement. Grease up your leader to the last eighteen inches or something, or even just the last foot, and just pop this out onto the edge of the ripple, on the, and and just watch. Let this swing across the loch. Should love it. You can pull it, you can skate it. Simple, rough, but it catches fish like crazy. So, hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines, guys. Bye.